Sounds like a Maru. Yeah. You actually made a void room? Yeah. Ah, oh, for a second there, I thought the, thought the, I thought the lights were out in the studio. <laughs> nah, made you this void room. Sweet. Dude, did you actually put a couch here? Because I can't really see where we're going right now, so did you put a couch here? Uh, yeah. Right there. Ah, oh, okay. So, peeps, while I'm sitting in this void room, which is kind of ironic, <laughs> I'll tell you all later. But, uh, basically, me and Atsukamaru just finished watching the last episode of Wonder Over Yonder. And I say it's a good, it's a possibly good send-off you could ever possibly give this show. And I didn't watch, like, every single episode, but I did watch some of the episodes. And it was, again, it was good. It was actually pretty good. I can't lie. Um, animation? Well, top notch like usual. Writing? Good. And I'm not, and I'm like, literally sometimes I'll say like, good, but then I'll mean like, yeah, it wasn't that great, but yeah, it was good. Good character development. Hater, d Hater did save the whole entire galaxy and then went back to being his old, I'm gonna be the best villain self. And yeah, that's good. Wander even saved Lord Dominator. I mean, we all knew he would. He ain't, he ain't that kind of person. But now I kind of believe Deadpool. Now I kind of believe Deadpoolzilla when he was like, Wander is actually the Doctor. I actually believe it now. Deadpoolzilla, you made me believe that Wander could be like a version of the Doctor for all I know. Like, in the in the same way they kind of help people. So. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he does play the fool. I'll actually, I'll give that to you. I will give that to you, Deadpoolzilla. You free and open my eyes to that. But, yeah. Hell, even Dominator, if, like, they were doing another season, may this would have been the, may this would have been the mark of Dominator's change of actually being, of being a good person. Who knows? I doubt it, but may have been a, Maybe they did another season. It would probably be it would probably mark Dominator's change from villain to actual, actual probably a good guy. And I would like to hear like a song like a just an inverse of her saying that she's the bad guy when she actually says she's the good guy. Now, that'd be good. That'd be good. That'd be awesome. But basically, you know, it was it was good. It was good. All around. Bugsy, you mind, uh... Since, since one over yonder's ended now, do you mind, uh... Oh, yeah. Just give me a minute. Let's get this, let's get this show the proper send-off it needs. Let me get the theme. Hold on, guys. Hold on. And a lot of people still probably are going to ship uh, Peepers with Lord, with Lord Hater. Because of one scene. But I'm not really going to talk about that. Just know that the ship is probably real. So if you see a whole bunch of fans going, Arr! you know, you know what it, you know what time it is. It's ship time, man. So let's give this show a nice little send off. Yeah, now yeah, we're watching this. <laughs> Yeah.
actually all thought a hater was an actual threat. Well, Well, that's well, that's all I can really give it. Yeah, and personally, I'm actually glad we watched the we watched the second season together. Yeah, me too. So, want to binge watch Gargoyles with me? Sure. First season or that weird last season with the with the cool. With the gargoyle, with these gargoyle destroyers looking like the Ku Klux Klan, because that was weird. I'm like, you know, it makes more, it makes less sense, like how, um, in the Marvel Universe we got a world full of mutants, but we also got a world full of heroes, so, why don't you think the heroes are mutants, because some of them have super, super strength, being, and being superhumans and shit, like... Okay, like, okay, then why don't you call everybody mutants? You know, that's just this one thing I've just been, look, you know, probably looking into a little bit too hard, but, you know, you can't, you can't blame me. What? Bugsy? Is this real? Probably another browser based game, but, uh, let's look at. We'll look at that later! Okay. Okay, just making sure, but let's look if Gargoyles is here. Because I want to actually, like, you know, maybe we could use it for Saturday afternoon. Don't say it, man. Every time we say it, we get jinxed. <sighs> Dreamland? Dreamland? Dreamland Doctor, oh yeah, the Doctor Who cartoon. Well, I wouldn't even call it cartoon, it's just like a little, little mini-series. They don't have gargoyles here, but they do have Kappa Mikey. Yeah, I don't feel like watching Kappa Mikey, though. I kinda do. Or at least the musical one, because, fuck, I actually do like that one. Ah, uh, Lunatics Unleashed. No! Life is in a room? Maybe. Ninja Turtles Next Mutation? Oh, hell no! Perfect Hair Forever? Probably. Because Perfect Hair Forever is for the man. And the hot dog. Don't, Bugsy, don't! Okay, I might, I, might, I might watch that, actually. So, you know, let's get, let's get out of here. Cool. Can we make this our, can we make the void room our review station, but also our chill center? I, I guess if you wanted, if you wanted, I guess we could probably do that. I mean, I'm not like totally opposed to it. Cool. Anyways, man, anyways, people, we're gonna get out of here, but, like, seriously, Wander Over Yonder, it, yo, Wander Over Yonder, to me, and Bugsy, has to be the best show ever, and it ended on a good note, but do, but still kind of leaving it open-ended enough, if, like, Disney ever wants to pick it back up, which I doubt, because, you know, well, hey, at least we're still getting. At least we're getting star in the forces, and the forces of evil. We're getting another season of that. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, Gravity Falls and Wander Over Yonder may be gone, but we still got star in the forces of evil. So that's still good. 
Um, so yeah. And whenever they're gonna do that Gravity Falls movie, which, whenever that happens. Um, we'll see you guys later. We'll see you guys, we'll see you guys soon. Bye, folks.